Hey, how's it going? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Via Glow. If you are new here, my name is Gloria and I'm a part-time reseller on apps like Poshmark, Depop, Macari, Vinted, and Curtsy. Still trying to get into eBay, but I think I may be onto something, so bear with me. Uh, so today I have a video for you guys as far as me showing you guys my updated process of getting my listings out to all of these reselling sites that I currently resell on. Um, it is gonna be interesting, okay? So make sure you stay tuned and watch the whole video, like support by watching the whole thing. Okay, so today uh, I'm gonna be able to get all of this out. Now, of course, these are all of the new items that I just uh, thrifted yesterday. And then of course, uh -oh, some uh, shorts as well. Now, all of these at the bottom, what do you call it, a death pile? So I have to get these out and I don't think it's that much because these are just tops and like, um, what are they called? Um, One eternity later. You know, the Victoria's Secret slips and camisoles and all of that. So that's not gonna be bad. And then I have a few pair of pants that also need to go out. But this one should be fairly easy. Um, I've been selling a lot of items. And since I am a very organized chick, um, I'm actually gonna write down the steps and then I'll have them listed right over here on what you should do when you start your photo taking process. So first, I wanna make sure you, of course, clean your area, but that's not important. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to clean mine because I have um, all of my items stored now. Okay, so the first step is to take the photo. Now, of course, when you take the photo, you wanna make sure that you are using the crop effect. Now, I have an iPhone, hopefully you do as well, so then you can automatically just go to a 16 to nine ratio. And I will be inserting a clip to show you guys that. And that way, when you add it to Depop, because I personally use Depop as my base app, so I take all of my photos on to that site and then I just copy and paste them all onto the other ones. So of course, their um, crop style is just a square. So I use that and then I also only take four photos, um, which is all that Depop allows. Now this is the part where it gets a little tricky because on Poshmark and Macari and Curtsy and Vinted, they allow far more photos than just four. So um, it's up to you if you wanna do that, but I personally don't. I think four photos is more than enough for me and my items, so I only take four. And I make sure in those four photos I get the cover shot, which is gonna be your most important one. And then you wanna do your second one, maybe as if it's a you know a graphic on it, the front or the back, you wanna make sure you get that zoomed in on. And then I like to do the tag as the third. And the fourth photo, if there's any flaws, you wanna make sure you go ahead and use that one as such. Um, and then if it's no flaws, then you just take a different angle of the shirt, um, maybe the backside, you know, something just to give it a different element of the four photos. And then after that, that uh, photo, sh after I take all four of the photos, I go to Google Lens. And then with Google Lens, so as I told you guys in my last video, Poshmark is really big on mannequins and stock photos. So with Google Lens, not only does Google Lens help you with your descriptions, because we all know descriptions are very much so important. Um, what I'd like to do as far as the descriptions go on Google Lens, I'll find something that is the exact same item and I will go and copy and paste right into Depop. So, okay, let me rewind a little bit. So after I take all of the four photos, I will then go to Depop and then I will add them in there. And then I would go back to the Google Lens and then I'll go and find the exact item. And then I'll search for a description that is very lengthy, copy the whole thing, paste it into um, Depop. And then two, I'll make sure I, uh, take that photo as well. So whatever photo, if it is a stock photo 
or if it's a mannequin photo, I'll make sure I'll hold on to it. So when I list onto Poshmark, I'll have that already ready to go. And then after you do the description and photos, I like to make sure I take measurements. So. So the bottoms, I'll lay them on my floor and do them there. But then as the tops, um, I will go ahead and take a photo of them hanging up. So flat lays for bottoms. And then I do hanger photos for everything else. Okay. So now that you have all four of your photos, you have a great description, you have your stock photos, you've already taken your measurements, you'll just leave all of that there into Depop. And what I do, I just move on to the next. And then after I complete all of them, what I would do is I'm, I would sit down and um, start getting everything situated and I'm gonna show you guys how my um, style of description is gonna look. I'm very neat. Um, I try to make sure everything is organized. So first you'd have your description and then right after your description, you have all of the, the tags that, that you would need right up under it. Uh, your measurements, the brand, the color, uh, the condition. And then at the bottom of it, I'll have hashtags. Um, and that'll also pull, pull people to the item through Depop as well. So after I do that, Honestly, the last time um, I did this, I only did Depop and then I listed on Poshmark because those were my most important sites. So it's up to you if you wanna go ahead and list on all of your platforms on the same day. I personally didn't. Um, I just listed to Depop and Poshmark and then the following day I listed to Mercari and then the next day I listed to Kersey. Um, so it's up to you. I don't have that many items so I may be able to do all of these um, on three sites today but we'll see we'll see how that goes because i am off today so i should be good um but yeah so that is the process and clean our area so on my other video i told you guys that i got this tea now unfortunately um it is stained at his paw or whatever the fuck that is so i have to write that in the listing and that's going to be one of the photos because it will not come So I also uh, made sure that I purchased uh, better hangers. Now, of course, I only use these for my photos because I got these from Target and they were really fucking expensive and I'm not gonna use this for my own closet because I don't have that kind of money. So I bought these for just the regular items and then these are already in use, but these are for uh, the bottoms, which is kind of cool. I'm trying to see if I want to hang some bottoms. I'm probably going to hang some of them and then some of them probably flat lays. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I think I may um, hang some bottoms and see how that goes. Probably update the other listings that have uh, bottoms in them to see if it, it'll work. So we'll probably go ahead and do the shirts first. Well, not shirts. I want to do all of my uh, newer items first because that's just what I do. And to be honest with you, it really has worked. Like my past sales for this week has been really fucking good. We'll be doing a video for my sales of April um, at the end of the month, of course, so you guys can see how much I made because I've been doing really well just for this first week. So I'm excited. Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to play the music and fucking do this shit at the same time. <sighs> Fantastic. Okay, 
So, uh, for today, usually when I do my photos, uh, you will need your steamer and a measuring tape. Um, that's all I use. I usually only lint roll when I'm about to ship it out because uh, most of my items don't have lint on them when I get them. So, well, they do, but it's not like real bad. So, that's all I use today. Now, I probably should invest in a better one um, as far as the steamer goes, but this will get the job done because not everything needs to be steamed. I just typically steam it now. officially done um, fucking finally it has been two hours and 48 minutes um, I pretty much didn't take a break I mean took like 10 minutes tops total um, and we're done it's a wrap uh, so now I'm about to take an hour break and watch a little bit of YouTube and catch up on my uh, channels that I follow and then I'm gonna get back to it and start listing everything and getting my description set up. So I'll see y'all in a fucking hour. So the other one, we started there and then now we are empty up top and then now we have everything here. So I think I'm going to wait until next weekend to do these because baby girl, it's time's consuming. Um, so I'm just gonna list all of my new items and then yeah, that's it. These will be next weekend. Okay, so I know I just said that um, I was gonna relax for an hour. However, I just spent the last hour and a half not relaxing. Um, I did watch Thrifting with Tony's YouTube video, but then I saw my apartment. I was like, you know what? Perfect opportunity to clean up. So I ended up spending my whole break um, cleaning up my whole apartment. I ended up cleaning up my inventory station. I ended up cleaning out my personal drawers. I ended up washing clothes. I ended up washing dishes. I ended up cleaning the apartment basically. So yeah, so I spent my break doing that. However, um, I forgot to list this shirt. So I'm about to get that one ready. And then I'm actually about to go to Walmart because I need to go grab some stuff. And then I'm supposed to be going on a little date. And then after that, I'll get everything listed. So you guys will see me later on um, when I start to get everything listed on Depop and then Poshmark. And then I'll even try my little Midas to get it listed to Macari as well. So we can have everything ready. Just to add in there, um, the beginning of this week when I listed all of my items from um, the beginning of April, I was getting a lot of sales on Macari and then um, up until yesterday, I started to get more sales on um, Poshmark. So I'm happy about that. So this week, I've only gotten sales on Macari and Poshmark. So yeah, I'm out.